Hey, good morning and welcome in. Trucker Rudy here. Today I'm going to talk about uh, some of the things that uh, I would prefer not to see on the road and, uh, and some of you I would prefer not to see on the road and uh, what I really want to talk about is uh, why you should not be a truck driver. And uh, one of the number one reasons I would say you should not be a truck driver is it's a very, very dangerous job. You see big wrecks all the time, all the time. I've seen big wrecks all the time. Uh, it is very dangerous. Uh, uh, cars cutting you off, big trucks cutting you off, and you got 80,000 pounds behind your, you know, uh, your your whole combined vehicle is 80,000 pounds. So you can't stop on a dime, you know. And a lot of people out here don't realize that, especially cars. They don't realize that you can't stop that quickly so that is one of the reasons you should not be a truck driver and other being is uh, being away from home for such a long time I've, I've heard guys especially here in the United States they're gone for two months at a time I don't know how they can do it I I could never ever do that so that is just I don't know insane for me to think about being away from my family for 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 two months at a time I quit another job for that I was doing before uh, I was doing flat deck and they kept me out like six weeks at a time and uh, I didn't like that at all I, uh, I said that's just too much for me and uh, another reason is you hate driving that's why you shouldn't be a, a truck driver and another reason is uh, you gain weight to be honest uh, you sit a lot and uh, if you have a tendency to gain weight if you don't have a lot of activities it would not be a good idea for you to be a truck driver another reason is uh, uh, you might be afraid to, to be out here and having such a long vehicle and and, and it's scary it's it's honestly at the beginning it's scary to be uh, in, a, in a big truck like that and another reason is uh, very low pay uh, you you don't get paid very much especially if you're at the beginning of your career in the trucking industry uh, you don't you don't get a lot a lot of money especially if you consider all the time that you are on the road and uh, away from your family and, and, and friends uh, at the beginning it's it's super hard to get used to this lifestyle and another reason is uh, you may be a bad driver uh, you uh, may be distracted all the time being on the cell phones or or this or that you, you just you just hate driving uh, then it would not be a good idea being a truck driver and another one is uh, if if you are mechanically inclined uh, if if you you know basically don't know how to <laughs> change a light bulb on on the tractor or trailer or whatever then uh, i would re definitely not recommend being uh, being a trucker and another reason would also be if uh, you can't read or write i know a lot of people that come from different countries or whatever and they uh, they can't understand this language then it would definitely not be a good idea for you to be on the road out here I see that a lot uh, I don't want to call any racist names or whatever but uh, uh, I see that out here a lot where uh, where drivers they don't know how to fill out a logbook they they don't know how to spell they you know I come up to the border I cross the border a lot and I hear this all the time you know, drivers, they, they get asked questions and they don't know what they're getting asked because they don't speak the language. Well, then it would definitely not be a good idea to be a trucker out here. And another thing I would recommend is, is get to know uh, the laws and, uh, and rules and the regulations out here. And, and, and recently, this last year, uh, the United States has changed their uh, hours of service and uh, that is uh, is put a big you know big finance and uh, cut a big cut on your financial situation on that because they no longer allow you to drive as much and realistically like 
because uh, technically they, they cut down your hours. You are only allowed to take one reset a week now. You have to be uh, seven days uh, on the road or whatever before you are even allowed to take a reset. And and that is horrible. And, and uh, especially for me sometimes, I go on a short trip, but like even for instance now, if my daughter is in the, in the hospital, uh, then if I just take a short trip, I, I'll be gone for four days and come home. I cannot take a legal reset for the United States. It's just not possible. They won't allow it. And then you go out and then you get a long trip. Well, then you have to take a reset on the road or or, or, or whatever. Or you're screwed with hours. You, you, you're limited on your hours. It's just no good way of making money anymore in that per perspective. You can still make money, but it's it's cut off some of the funds that, that we had available before where if we drive really hard uh, six five six days you had your hours in and you could go ahead and take a reset and uh, or, or if you're gone for four days it didn't matter how many hours you're driven you could go ahead and take a reset what you can no longer do in Canada you still can but not in the United States so that's one other bad reason why you should not be should not be a driver. There you go. There you have all the bad reasons why you should not be a trucker. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys uh, liked it. And we'll see you tomorrow at 5 a.m.